All right, guys. Uh, started my cell over again. Uh, I shrunk it down. I want to see what the difference is, if it's faster or uh, gets more concentrated. But uh, as you can see, right there is the smoke, the collodial. That's what it looks like as of right now. I just started it. Um, uh, it's collecting toward the bottom, and it hasn't yet made it to the anode. I mean, to the cathode, as far as I can tell. Uh, I use the same cathode, uh, fresh tap water. Uh, we'll see how it goes from here. Uh, I got my other cell uh, settling so I can pour off and collect my silver. And then I got to heat dry it. And before I melt, I'm going to take some of the powder and uh, I'm going to make another video while I do the test. And, uh, show what the outcome is with the uh, hydrochloric on the powder and the filtered solution to check for chlorides and to see exactly how contaminated uh, it may be if at all um, I've run I'd say I think I'm on my 12th or 13th spoon and fork right now so there's only that many that I run so far and uh, like four of them's in the cell uh, at a seven I got uh, the 6.4 grams of silver um, not quite sure on the purity as far as the metal goes because uh, a while back I ran into a uh, problem with contaminating my uh, crucible so and it's the only one I got so that's what I've been melting my silver in so I can't do what uh, GSP suggested and uh, Put the uh, small button through the nitrate because uh, the crucible I think is contaminated with copper and other metal contaminants um, from where I didn't get a good uh, wash on my uh, gold uh, so uh, just gonna sit here for a few minutes and let y'all see that it is collodial coming off as you can see it's like a smoke uh, I can't zoom in any closer or it'll blur I think let me see so let me see what I can do here. Okay, that worked a little bit better. Ah. Okay, you see the cloud there. What it's doing exactly. Um, okay, let me focus it again. see a little bit better um, see what it looks like from the top side okay as you can see it's kind of working its way toward the cathode now uh, but that's pretty much it and uh like I said, I'll, I'll run them tests in another video. 
uh, so that everybody can see what it comes out as. Uh, the hydrochloric on the powder should tell us uh, how about how contaminated it is, uh, depending on uh, how much of a reaction I get uh, with the acid. And the hydrochloric in the solution should tell us if there's chlorides in the solution in the electrolyte. Um, give a shout out to Butcher this time since I forgot to do it last time. And uh, <clears throat> let's see who else. Uh, uh, S. Brown. Uh, and uh, Glondor and uh, Patnor and uh, let's see who else. Uh, well, if I didn't mention you this time, uh, I'll try and get you next time. But uh, shout out to everybody, pretty much. And uh, I hope y'all decide to. Uh, take a part in this project and uh, give me some feedback and uh, maybe together we can fine tune it and uh, call it the GRF uh, uh, silver depleting cell or something like that who knows uh, but good evening and uh, hope to hear from y'all uh, when y'all watch my video, if you don't mind, can you please like and subscribe because I will be posting uh, more videos. Uh, and like I said in one of my posts, I've got uh, another idea for a gold cell that uh, doesn't involve uh, acids. And uh, matter of fact, I run that earlier and uh, waiting on the solution to kind of settle out and see just a idea on it uh, but uh, I'll get to that next project as soon as uh, I get done with this one uh, but I hope y'all enjoy the video and I hope this gives y'all a little bit a uh, better idea um, as you can see, the smoke is coming off the positive connection, which should be the anode, I believe, in the electrolytic cell. Um, and the negative is the cathode. But I could have that backwards um, because uh, with a electrochemical cell, the uh, currents are backwards uh, where the uh, anode is negative and the cathode is positive uh, or it could be for the electrolytic uh, pretty sure I got it right though uh, check out some of them uh, chem 12 videos if you uh, don't know anything about uh, the uh, cells and how they work uh, you can get pretty good detailed information uh, on how that works uh, the guy that posts them is uh, RCN 2000 uh, it's got Kim 12 uh, 2008 I believe uh, in the description uh, but uh, that's pretty much it, I believe. Good night.